Perhaps the most famous airplane on Earth is uh, now being traded in uh, for a new model. Uh, Air Force One will turn 30 in 2017. That means the U.S. government is shopping for a replacement right now. CNN's Tom Foreman reports. Part White House, part war room, part political icon, the new Air Force One will fill many roles. Air Force One, clear for takeoff from way to eight. Thank On you. the surface, the requirements are simple. It must be a wide-body, four-engine commercial aircraft. But then things get complicated. Yeah, I think the biggest misconception about Air Force One is the idea that it's some sort of a plush, comfortable luxury jet that only is used for executive travel, when in fact it has a military mission. It is a flying headquarters for the commander in chief. Will it have an escape pod like in the movie Air Force One? No, that is fiction. But it does have defensive capabilities, shields against the electromagnetic pulse of a nuclear attack, and anti-missile systems, too. The plane must be able to travel anywhere in the world, landing at big and small airports. And of course, there are many secrets. At the Reagan Library, an earlier model, a modified Boeing 707, is a major draw. We all want to know what's on this plane. There's such a mystique. It is America. It's, it's, our, it's our presidency. Um, and I remember the first time I walked through it. You know, you just get chills. Air Force One has been in the middle of many extraordinary moments. When John Kennedy was assassinated, Lyndon Johnson became the next president on board. Ronald Reagan took it to meet the Russians and practiced his putting in flight two. And George W. Bush used today's version, a modified Boeing 747, to fly back to Washington on 9-11. Unable to do a TV address to the nation until he landed. That was later fixed, and the new jet is expected to have full in-flight broadcast capabilities, along with sleeping quarters, a shower, an airborne oval office, and an emergency room. Delivery in seven years. But... Trust me when I tell you that the Pentagon's military acquisition system can't achieve anything in that short a period of time. So, like the rest of us sometimes, even the president may have to wait for his plane. The sticker price is currently unknown. Perhaps that will get clearer when the final contract is arranged. But for the record, it is almost certainly going to be money that will go to an American plane manufacturer for an American plane. After all, as one of our experts told us, you don't see the president riding around in an Audi, Wolf. No, so it's not going to be an Airbus. No, no I don't think It will definitely so. be pro presumably some Boeing. Or probably something. Boeing. Yeah. Probably Boeing. We'll see. All right. Good report. Tom Foreman, thanks very much. Uh, coming up right at the top of the hour, a Situation Room special report. President Obama weighing military action in Iraq. Uh, we're live on the ground as that country spir spirals deeper and deeper into crisis.